Hi everybody, Brandon Minnick here, and today we are talking about the .NET MAUI Community Toolkit C Sharp Markup Extensions. The C Sharp Markup Extensions are a open source NuGet package that allows us to create our UI in .NET MAUI using C Sharp instead of XAML. If you are like me and prefer to use C Sharp instead of XAML to create your .NET MAUI UI, I highly, highly recommend this NuGet package as it makes things so much easier for us. Don't worry about memorizing anything that we're talking about today because you can find it all in the link below at my blog, codetraveler.io. Let's take a look at the code. First things first, I have the .NET MAUI template app. So I've just created a file new .NET MAUI app. And here we have the .NET bot with a clicker that we can click and we see the count increase. Now, what we're going to do is replace all of this XAML and redo it in C Sharp. Let's take a look. Now, first things first, we need to add the communitytoolkit.maui.markup NuGet package. Now to do that here in Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to edit the csproj file directly. If you're more familiar with Visual Studio, just right click on the solution and say manage NuGet packages, because this basically accomplishes the same thing. Adding in here, we have the communitytoolkit.maui.markup NuGet package, and the latest version is version 1.0.0 dash pre two. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove all of the XAML from the app. So we can remove main page dot XAML. We can remove app dot XAML. And we can rename the files to be just app dot CS, changing that from a partial class and removing initialized component, which are only necessary if we're using XAML, which today we won't be. So same thing with main page. Let's change this to mainpage.cs, remove initialized component. We're going to be using both the community toolkit.maui.markup.gridrows columns namespace, as well as the community toolkit.maui.markup namespace. Now let's go ahead and recreate that grid. Now that grid had a couple rows in it. And using the markup extensions, we can create an enum to keep track of our rows. So we can have a row for that first title that said, hello world. Our next row, we can call that welcome. The next row can be the count. The next row can be our click me button. And the final row can be our image where the .NET bot lives. Now here in the constructor for our content page, we can say content equals new grid. And for our grid, we'll give it row definitions by saying row dot define. And this is where the row enums come in handy. So this first row we'll say is row dot hello world. That'll be row number one. And this is where we can set the row's size. So if we wanted this row to be 30 points or 30 pixels high, we can do that using 30. If we wanted to say star, we can say star. Uh, but in this case, we're gonna say auto. And let's go ahead and define all of our other rows. So, and row dot image. Okay, the next thing we want to do is add our children into the grid. And to do that, we'll say, children equals, and here we can add in all of our labels, all of our buttons, all of our images. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add in a new label and we'll give it that text that says, hello world. And we'll say that this belongs in row dot hello world. We'll add another label that says text equals welcome to the .NET MAUI community toolkit markup extensions. And we'll put that in row.welcome. Next, we'll create our counter label. So let's create a new label. And for this label, we're going to edit it directly. 
just like here in the sample app, is using counterlabel.txt to increment the value of that count. So let's first create a read-only label called counterlabel. And then we can assign that here by saying new label assign out counter label. And let's put that counter label in row dot count. So far, so good. Next thing we're going to create is that button. So the button that says text equals click me. And we want to give this button a behavior. Now the sample app has already given us the on counter clicked method that we can use as our event handler. So to access that button, we can say invoke. And then this allows us to say button goes to button dot clicked. And we can assign it to on counter clicked. And of course, we don't want to forget to put that row in the row dot click me button. And next, we're going to create our image. So let's create a new image with the source being the .NET bot PNG file that comes with the template. And let's also give it a width request just so it doesn't get too big. Uh, we can say uh, 250 and we can put in a height request of, let's say 310, just like in the sample app. And that row will also be row.image. Now, added a missing semicolon to get rid of that red squiggle. And that's it. We have recreated the .NET MAUI template that typically comes in XAML, recreating it here in C Sharp. Okay, now let's go ahead and run that code and see how it looks. Oh, look at that. It doesn't look quite exactly the same. Let's see, click me. Yep, current count is go ahead and aggregating up. Let's see if we can make that look just a little bit better. So back in our main page, we've created these labels, we've created the buttons, but let's do a little bit more. We can change that font so we can say that the font size of this is maybe something bigger, like 32, and why not make it bold? Uh, the second label, that font, let's also make that a little bit bigger, maybe 24. Don't need bold there, but you know what? I do want to make sure we center everything. So let's say center horizontal. And let's also say text center to make sure the text is centered inside of the label. Let's do the same thing down here. So we'll say center horizontal text center. There we go. Get rid of that copy paste red squiggle. And one more thing I noticed is the label didn't have a default text. So let's go ahead and copy this text from down here and add that to our label. And that looks pretty good. Now let's run this and see how it looks. And there it is, it already looks better. Look at, we have our font sizes, everything is centered properly, the text is centered. Let's see, when we click the button, yep, that count keeps going up. This looks pretty good. Thanks again for joining me today. Don't forget that you can find all this information and more at my blog, codetraveler.io. Now go get started today creating your .NET MAUI UIs in C Sharp using the Fluent C Sharp markup extensions. Thanks.